And um, thinking about some of the other sites we've visited today, we've, we've heard of the species that we've mentioned here, but in some of the sites we were in, you also planted Sitka spruce. Right. So I'm curious why you chose not to plant something like Sitka spruce in, in I would have loved stand. to have had some Sitka spruce here, and I just actually didn't have the opportunity right oh, now okay. because that's um, a very limited seed supply. So I um, was able to secure some of the seed um, uh, more recently than this. So this one was harvested 2015, planted 2016. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm looking for is uh, Sitka spruce that have been bred for um, a fairly high level of resistance to the Sitka spruce terminal weevil. Got it. It's sometimes called the white pine weevil. It's um, Pisodes strobi. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it, it's been a, a, an issue all over the, um, the range, of, well, mostly the southern part of the range of Sitka spruce. And, um, and, and so we're looking to get that seed. So your choice of, of not planting, it wasn't related to the growing conditions here. You think in certain locations here it might have done fine. It was more mm -hmm. just that you, you weren't able to get stock that had it's resistance difficult. to that insect. Yeah, it's just, it's just becoming more available mm -hmm. on the market now. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's taken many, many years of, of again, breeding and building mm -hmm. up a seed source in the seed orchard so Got that it. now I can get my hands on some of it and, and purchase it on the market. Similar to the white, the western white pine, where for a while there wasn't stock that was right. resistant to white pine blister rust. Do you foresee kind of increasing the proportion of, yeah. of western white pine and Sitka spruce that you plant in these forests going forward? Now that there's some resistance to those pathogens yeah. and insects. Yep, that's right. And not only that, it's um, it, it's really um, like restoration too, because it's bringing white pine back to this ecosystem where mm -hmm. it was, you know, removed about, you know, beginning about a hundred years ago, it was removed from here because of an introduced disease. And in the case of the Sitka spruce, um, you know, it just seems as though the uh, terminal weevil, uh, you know, really got a foothold here because of the, the pattern of harvesting and, and just the particular seed sources, the provenances that were being chosen in the past. It turns mm -hmm. out that the resistance to this terminal weevil is quite rare and what's really really interesting is is that this local provenance is actually one of the resistant ones. And oh, okay. There's only two or three resistant very, very local um, provenance sources that have this natural resistance. So it's like a lot of the trees that were chosen for that breeding program came from this research oh, okay. forest. Oh, wow. And so it's really cool that so we from, can bring those back. When you say this area, you mean this, this research really forest? Really locally okay. from this research forest and from the local area around Maple Ridge. Oh, wow. And I actually was very involved in collecting um, the, the material for the propagation and breeding uh, you know, back in the 1990s, actually. So it's, it's just over time we're, we're, we're taking the naturally mm -hmm. weevil resistant uh, you know seed and we're bringing it back to this forest. Okay. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah.